it wants to be a pillar in the community. I mean, we, we are the biggest entity here in this community right now, so we want to make sure that we have, that we be a positive, shining light on honor your great community. From David Letterman to professional athletes like Mike Woodson, Broad Ripple High School house notable Hoosiers. And now students attending Purdue Polytechnic High School are bringing the hallways of Broad Ripple High back to life for the first time since 2018. Step inside the doors of Broad Ripple High School and Principal Richard Benberry will greet you like you're already his friend. How are you doing, fellas? He brings a familiar vibe to a new temporary campus for more than 300 Purdue Polytechnic High School students. So this way we have our uh, cafeteria, which is actually their old band room. As a kid, Ben Barry used to live in Broad Ripple, and he knows the impact it had in the community until it closed. How pristine this school actually is after being not used for four years. That's the part that I, that I can't get over. It's pristine because IPS continued to partially use this facility. But this week, it's opening its doors once again to students and educators who now occupy the third floor for one year. PPHS students call the 375,000 square foot facility an upgrade. I'm obviously very excited. Excited. Students say they crammed into the rooms for classes last year. Just some general quality of life improvements, I feel like. Having wider hallways, uh, something that an office building doesn't really have, is going to be a big bonus. Classrooms sat so close they could hear conversations through the walls. I feel like it's going to boost a lot of my grades up. Now at Broad Ripple High School, student athletes also see opportunity. A lot of sports comes to my mind, a lot of history. Being able to have the gymnasium because where we were practicing before, we would either have to go all the way across to the east side over by uh, Howe High School to practice, which is, you know, a lot considering, you know, five o'clock traffic. Broad Ripple High School serves as a temporary campus for PPHS while the construction work finishes on their new north campus. We're going to use it. We're going to use it. Yeah, that's a big deal. From the administrative perspective, Principal Ben Barry sees the learning advantages this new space provides. Last year, PPHS students walked between two campuses in Broad Ripple. Stability is important, whether it be in a family or in a, or in a school environment. At the rate the student body grew, the charter school needed more space. Now working with IPS helps the school district as well. And so you're right, it is a very large facility on a lot of land. IPS hasn't sold Broad Ripple High School yet. School officials say it's partially because of the current law, which allows charter schools to buy the building for one dollar. The dollar law is a legislative component that makes it um, very difficult for us to think about, you know, selling the property. Although the future of the building isn't defined, the joy of being together, <laughs> the learning <laughs> and the genuine excitement for Broad Ripple High School is crystal clear. We want to be able to serve our community, especially when you have all these great businesses that are out here and how can our students be innovative and help these businesses grow. Because of the five-year innovation agreement with IPS, Purdue Polytechnic High School agreed to not lay claim to Broad Ripple High School property for one dollar. To find out what's next though for Broad Ripple High School, just head to our website wrtv.com where we will have an article up there shortly.